But what I get really excited about is the, uh, the generation of robots that we see evolving and starting to emerge right now, uh, which are based on PC-based technology that have the same kind of capabilities that we see on the PC in terms of processing capabilities as well as Wi-Fi capability. Well, as you get that kind of PC platform, it's, it's almost like it's, it's just a rich set of peripherals and the, all the kind of software development opportunities are, are there like they were for the PC. Exactly, and that's why we launched, as you know, we launched Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio as a special development toolkit that would enable people to develop applications more easily. That would help allow the emerging industry to bootstrap itself and provide a catalyst for more applications. To show some of those applications the platform of what we think is possible with those kinds of applications based on this PC technology, I've invited some, some friends out here to come, uh, to, to come up on stage with us. So I'm inviting out uh, uh, the U-Bot and uh, Patrick Deegan from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. It's a part of Dr. Rod Gruppen's uh, Laboratory for Perceptual Robotics. And since Steve couldn't make it with us today, we thought we'd provide a, a good substitute. Developers, 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 developers. Developers, 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 developers. Hey, got, we've got the Bomber bot pretty excited here. This is a, it's an amazing, amazing looking robot. It's, it's just balancing itself and uh, fantastic. Yes, what you see here is the latest in robotic technology. The, the Balmer bot uh, features a dynamically stable mobile base, a uh, rotating torso, and two uh, dexterous arms. 